to kick off the spring break of my junior year, I had the privilege of going down to Miami um, to be a part of the Clayton Global Initiative uh, University Conference hosted at the University of Miami. There I got to represent Center for Student Opportunities um, with, their, with their I'm First initiative. While at the conference, I got to meet several students who are first generation uh, students at the various uh, colleges from around the nation uh, who are really starting a great uh, project or initiative at their universities, out in their cities and their towns to really help uh, people in various ways. Just people who wanted to help people who are first generation like themselves and also people who want to help uh, out communities who are underserved um, and their various experience and the various uh, the, the, different, the different paths they took to be at, the, at their universities all influenced the way and the, the, the different projects that they initially are initiating and they presented at the conference. Um, it was really humbling for me because I got to see people who are doing things um, that are amazing or, or, or amongst other people who maybe come from privilege, who may have a different experience than the first generation spirit experience, um, really get engaged and really become front runners in the different fields and the different um, the different initiatives to really see that happen was really humbling to me because I saw that amongst this group of amazing students, amongst this group of people who are really starting and really doing great things, first generation students are represented. In addition to talking with those students, hearing about their great projects and the great initiatives that are starting in various communities around the world region, um, I got to sit in on panels. Uh, at, the, at CGIE and listen to uh, President Clinton, uh, of course, Hillary and Chelsea speak, but other people um, who are from various walks of life, including Jamie Lerner, um, speak about the great things and the great ideas and the big picture uh, kind of notions that we kind of need to consider. Um, and amongst that conversation, one of those conversations, I got to hear President Clinton speak about uh, the, how we spend money um, as a nation and what that means. Uh, to us. And in that in that discussion, he said, uh, we need to be co conscious of our spending. We can't be the greatest country concentrating on the past and the present. We must be conscious of our future. And I think that's very important in context in the sense that when we think about spending, when we think about our fiscal, the fiscal year and all kind of stuff, um, we need to be conscious of uh, where we want to be in the future. But being at the conference and really thinking about that last part, we must be conscious of our future, um, really speaks to what the conference was about generally and what I got out of the conference as a whole. And that is that um, when we think about us our, ourselves as college students and what we're doing, where we want to go in life, uh, we must be conscious of our future. We get a lot oftentimes caught up in our past, maybe, maybe even as uh, first generation students, where we come from, what our history looks like, what our family history looks like, that we don't really look forward to, it. we don't look towards the future. And other times we get caught up in our present, the stresses of college or the stresses of even applying to college that we get distracted from our future and our end goal. So to take what President Clinton said, beyond the scope of um, uh, spending uh, as a country or as a nation, and to take it and say, we must, uh, concert, we not, must not be too focused and concentrate on our past and our present, but really be conscious of our future. So even as first generation students, we must do that. And I think that was a great, um, one, of the, one of the greatest things that he said and really hit home for me. And I definitely wanted to share that um, with other students. It felt good to get certain breaks and, uh, and throughout the day to just take in where I was, to take in the, uh, the atmosphere um, and the kind of type of uh, energy that was there so I had several opportunities to just walk around and just capture the moments of um, what CGIE was and what, was, what, what it all looked like um, in addition to how it felt. Um, so I got to just walk around and just, just be at um, the uh, University of Miami to see the uh, different places where we're hosting these events and be in a room when it was empty and just, just look over and just watch um, and just feel, get a feel for what uh, Clayton Global Initiative uh, University Conference Group is really about. And another panel I got to hear um, Jamie Lerner speak. Um, 
and he says some great things about uh, cities and really being uh, uh, conscious about what we, how we spend, how we build, how we construct our cities. Um, but he also talked about dreams. He said simply, don't be frustrated, be sure. And for me, that was important because sometimes we are distracted by the challenges that we face and all the uphill battles that we must um, we must uh, take, uh, really, um, to keep in mind that we must uh, not be frustrated, we must not be discouraged, we must not be distracted from where we're trying to go. We must be sure. We must be sure of our goals. We must be sure of where we're going. We must be sure of the path that we're taking. We must be sure constantly. And um, a lot of us, um, as first generation students and just as students in general, we don't have a lot of resources to make what we want to happen happen. But he also, Jamie Lerner, um, encouraged us to um, be creative, to be, to be um, resourceful, um, to do things. He said the less zeros you have, the more creative you get. Uh, so taking those that maybe not having as many as much money or met as many resources as other as other people do doesn't mean you can't do great things and you can't be um, uh, uh, high achievers. So just keeping that in mind, and continuing to strive and continuing to be future minded and future oriented um, is what I took from that um, experience and really wanted to share. Um, so take the opportunity. Uh, that the center uh, for student opportunities have given us with this website, with the I'm First initiative, uh, to to watch the I'm First videos, um, to make I'm First videos, to encourage other students as well um, to tell your story, but also to browse the website and listen to uh, stories and read all the blogs that we will have and really get um, a good idea of the different things, different opportunities that we have that are available to you. Uh, we really be encouraged and know that. Being first is it means something. It's a big idea. It's a big, it's a big, it's a big thing. You should really be proud of that and never discouraged by that. So be future mind, future oriented. Keep your mind looking forward um, and really be, never stop being creative um, and never stop being resourceful.